This video is being brought to you by learningcomputer.com. Today uh, we will be discussing Access 2013 tutorial going over the new features. So uh, let's see what we have to discuss. Well, what is new with uh, Microsoft Access 2013? As you can see, uh, maybe I am using uh, PowerPoint 2013. You can, uh, you know, you can see the look and feel is different. So uh, that does apply to uh, Microsoft Access as well. It's just a sleeker look, and it's um, uh, they've taken out some of the colors and made it more modern style. We will also go over uh, the ability for Access to work with the SkyDrive. And in case you don't know, SkyDrive is the Microsoft Cloud uh, apps and the storage where you can uh, not only save documents that you can access anywhere, but uh, you know collaborate with other people and whatnot. Uh, Access does have better integration with Office 635 and also SharePoint, Microsoft SharePoint. Now, some of the things that are missing this time is um, in the query design window, the pivot chart and pivot table options are gone. And also in the database tools, the upsizing wizard is uh, simply not there anymore. And one thing that uh, is a little bit confusing, I guess, is when you're working with templates, uh, it wants to create a web app. And I believe maybe that's a strategy from, from Microsoft that they want uh, you, know, to, you to port over your desktop uh, databases to online, either in the form of a uh, Office uh, 365 subscription or SharePoint. So those are some of the things um, that are new with this release. Now, in today's demo, we are uh, going to include the following uh, things. We will try, uh, you know, to go over the new interface and maybe compare it to the one in Access 2010 using a, a sample Northman database. We are also going to be using the Desktop Access 2013 and will open a database from the SkyDrive in the cloud. We will also upload a database from your local desktop uh, to basically the remote SkyDrive, and then we'll work with the built-in template. So a few things to discuss. Uh, let's uh, let's switch over to um, Access. I have this uh, up and running right now. Um, as you can see, you know the the ribbon looks good. I already have uh, this database loaded up, and uh, maybe the best thing to do is just uh, really you know look at uh, the table. So we have a customers table. Uh, okay, uh, typical information, you know, customer ID, customer name, and whatnot. You can see that, um, y you know, the ribbon definitely looks different. It's uh, it's uh, subtle. They have changed the uh, the tabs, basically, you know, uh, the the color scheme, and also you can see these are all capitalized. That you know that wasn't the case before. So the interface looks good. They all they've also added colors. Uh, to this so you know if you're working with Excel you'll uh, notice a forest green sort of color um, with the access I'm really not sure it's some kind of uh, red purple type color but uh, let's compare the best thing to do is maybe compare this with access 2010 so this is 2013 if I go to access 2010 which is what I have here and I actually have the same uh, database loaded up here I'm going to double click on this one and uh, you know basically compared the two so let's let's look at the home tab okay this is the home tab in access 2010 uh, you know you're used to that and then uh, let's look at the home tab here okay very similar in fact uh, you know I will say this the the menu options and the icons well the icons have changed but the underlying functionality has not really changed so you can see that you know we have view paste filter uh, refresh options find options if I go to 2013 uh, you can again, uh, sorry, to 2010, you can see you have the same option, view, paste, filter, you know, refresh, refresh all, refresh all, and find. So, um, and same thing applies, you know, to other areas. Let's say when you're trying to create an object, maybe you need to create a table or a query or a form. Uh, this is in 2013. So let's, you know, do a snapshot real quick here. And now if I go back to access 2010 and do a create, you'll notice that uh, it's the same. You know, definitely more color in 2010, whereas in 2013, it's a little bit more, you know, gray, gray bluish type thing, which, which is fine. So, so that's uh, really, you know, what the interface looks like, okay? 
now as far as the other thing that I mentioned is that you know we are going to work with the SkyDrive so maybe you know this is uh, something that if you have not worked with this is going to be new for you so let's let's try this we actually have this database up and running but I'm going to go and open up a new file so I'm going to click on file okay and you'll notice that this also looks a little bit different uh, you know the layout and whatnot I'm going to click on open now not only do you have an option of you know whatever you're working on recently but you have an option for a sky drive okay uh, so I will click on that and uh, like I said it, you know it lets you access files from anywhere and share with anyone I'm currently not not lo logged in so I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in and this is where you know if you had an account by the way you can create an account um, on this it's free uh, in fact let me just show you uh, if you do live.com okay uh, you know you can sign in here if you're not if you don't have an account you can uh, uh, you know create one obviously and you can learn more about this okay so coming back to access I'm going to go ahead and type in my live account so bear with me for a few moments here okay and then it's going to ask me for my password which I'm going to put that in there as well so now what it does is it's actually now it's connected to my SkyDrive okay and you can actually browse uh, browse it's just like working with Windows Explorer except this is uh, you know in the cloud okay now you can notice that up here instead of a folder I'm seeing a web location so HTTPS something live.net okay and I already have some folders uh, documents pictures but I do have this database called students okay so I'm going to click on that and click open alright and uh, it's asking me do I want to save changes to the customers table sure sure we can do that that's that's the database I already had open when I was trying to show you the interface between the two now here's what's interesting though okay so this is a little bit different than the other apps if you're working with Microsoft Word or Excel it is it will actually go ahead and open an instance of those programs in the SkyDrive not so much with access okay because access is not available um, you know uh, online so what it wants to do is it wants to say okay um, before I open this where would you like to save this and it's uh, you know asking my local drive and uh, this is my downloads folder so I'll just say okay sure let me call it students one okay so even though even though you know it opened this database from the sky drive it actually wanted to save it to the you know to the local drive which is fine okay you know here basically uh, you know i have uh, student information i have some reports some forms in fact if i click one of these tables you know you're you're used to seeing information like this uh, student id uh, their last name first name um, address city state apparently uh, this is a lot of data from Oregon okay so that's that's kinda like how you work with the SkyDrive now that's fine how do you uh, what if you were you know working in the SkyDrive and you wanted to upload a database from your desktop to the remote site well we can certainly do that before I do that let me go ahead and close this one I'm actually I'm going to close this database actually let's just close it completely because I'm going to upload this to SkyDrive so now again I am back in uh, live.com I'm going to log into the SkyDrive Now, once I'm logged in, uh, you can see that one of the options right on the top is SkyDrive, okay? So I'm going to click on it, and here you will see folders. If you haven't seen this before, um, the ones in this, um, I don't know, I don't think it's sky blue, but uh, some kind of dark blue, these are all folders, okay? This is a PDF document here. I have some uh, green ones. These are all Excel. I have some Word documents and then if you scroll down here you'll notice that I already have a student's database this is the database by the way we downloaded okay so that's fine uh, how about um, <clears throat> can we upload a database sure you can so what you do is you click on upload 
okay now I'm going to go ahead and browse to my databases and notice that uh, you know when I save my database by the way that's us right now February 13 144 so this is our database that I would like to upload you simply select it click open okay so now it's uploading my students one dot ACCDB which is the extension for access to the SkyDrive okay and uh, it's done I can uh, I can I believe close this one here okay so you'll notice that now it it went ahead and uploaded okay again though notice that um, <clears throat> if you're in the SkyDrive right and uh, you know if you wanted to open up a database which we don't have anything open the only thing we have open is access 2010 in fact I'm going to kill this one so the only thing we have open is PowerPoint okay so now within live.com if you wanted to open the access database what happens when you click on it see it, it down downloads it now if you were to do that with a uh, like a word document <clears throat> it will actually go ahead and open it open it up in the web notice that see this one is already opening up in the web so so that's the difference uh, you know between access and uh, you know other other applications again let's say this uh, grades database excel uh, item if I want to open this online if I double click on it uh, again it launches the excel web app and I can work on these documents straight in the web okay I can I can change grades uh, or something and by the way in SkyDrive you you know you'll notice that you don't have a save option this is a live data that you're working on so as you're actively working with data it is actually going uh, it is actually going and saving them